A well-known fact about me is that I love Sega, and I especially love the Sega Saturn. One of the more ambitious series on the Sega Saturn was the Panzer Dragoon series. The Sega Saturn had a rather complex architecture system when it came to designing 3D games, and this was one of the many reasons that companies decided to develop games for the PlayStation rather than the Sega Saturn. When 3D games did come to the Sega Saturn though, they were always usually full of charm, and the Panzer Dragoon series was no exception. After three titles released on the Sega Saturn, with the final entry being, well, very different than the first two games, and one game releasing on the original Xbox, the sun had set on the Panzer Dragoon series, and it seemed like we would never hear from it again. At E3 2019 though, a huge surprise announcement of a Panzer Dragoon remake for the Nintendo Switch was announced, and honestly, I was absolutely floored by it. It was one of my favorite announcements of the event. Then, during a surprise Nintendo Direct Mini in late March, we got yet another surprise announcement. Panzer Dragoon Remake was releasing the same day, on March 26th. So with the backstory of the game out of the way, the question really remains, does Panzer Dragoon Remake still hold up today, or is it better left in our memories on the Sega Saturn? That's what we're going to figure out today. What's up guys, I'm RGT85, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, but without any further ado, let's get into my review of the Panzer Dragoon remake and see if this is a game that you would be interested in. The story of Panzer Dragoon is a rather simple one. You play as a hunter named Kyle Fludge, who is out with some fellow hunters, when a large battleship appears in the sky. Afterwards, Kyle chases after a creature to kill, and is separated from his hunter friends, and led into a mysterious cave. Inside of this cave, he is attacked by a large creature, but two dragons, one blue and one black, entwined in battle lead to the creature being crushed by rocks. Outside of the cave, the battle continues with the black dragon retreating. Upon this, the rider of the blue dragon entrusts Kyle with his dragon, and the task of stopping the black dragon from reaching the tower before he does. He says that his dragon knows the way, and thus you set out on your quest. Now, I might be making the story sound a little bit more dramatic than it really is, but the opening intro cutscene is something that I really enjoyed watching in this game. Along your quest, you will also get more tidbits of the story, but it does keep things rather vague, including the information on Kyle himself. You don't really learn anything about him, but it really doesn't play a major part in the game. The gameplay in Panzer Dragoon was always the draw of the series though, and I think that it shines pretty bright on the Nintendo Switch. Panzer Dragoon is an on-rail shooter, so similar to games like Star Fox on the Super Nintendo, but there's one major difference. Whereas in Star Fox the enemies come at you from the front only, in Panzer Dragoon the enemies come at you from four different directions, the front, the right, behind you, and to the left of you. So while you are riding your dragon, you will have to look at a small mini-map in the upper corner of the screen in order to see where enemies are coming from, and then you can shift position by using the L and R triggers to focus on them and take them out. You have a standard shot that you can shoot, that you can rapidly tap, and you also have a charge shot as well. By holding down the shoot button, you build up a charge shot that then locks onto your enemies you put the cursor over, so you can get through large groups of enemies rather quickly if you need to. Of course, enemies will be attacking you with projectiles as well, so dodging incoming attacks or using your standard shot to shoot them down is essential in the game. One of the new things in the remake of the game is a brand new control scheme called Modern. The main difference between Classic and Modern is how movement in the game is done. In Classic mode, when you move your reticle, your dragon also moves with you as well. In modern mode, however, the reticule and the dragon are independent of each other in movement, and you can use the left analog stick to move your dragon, and the right analog stick to move your reticule. Personally, I could not get used to the modern control scheme at all, probably because I'm pretty used to the original method to control the game, but it might work for some people who are used to more conventional control schemes. I think diehards, though, will want to keep it on classic. Aside from the modern control scheme, the other obvious big improvement over the original version of the game has to be in the presentation department. Panzer Dragoon on the Saturn looked fine and ran fine for its time, but has definitely shown its age in terms of graphics. Panzer Dragoon Remake definitely does a very good job of improving upon that aspect of the game though. The world you are in is much more bright and much more colorful, while still remaining close to the original source material. 
Enemies are creative, and the boss battles are all huge enemies with lots of little intricate details that will keep you on your toes when you're battling them due to each one having its own unique patterns. The environments look great and range from things like lush jungles to desert sands and much more. There is some draw in in the backgrounds at times that is noticeable, but overall I thought the graphics of the game were pretty nice. The frame rate to me feels like a 30 frames per second game, but is very consistent throughout, and I never noticed any major hiccups or slowdown during times of lots of action. I played through the game several times in both dock mode and handheld mode, and handheld mode retains all the same goodness from dock mode with no additional Vaseline filter that we see on some games that, well, just ends up making things look very blurry. The game also offers a photo mode as well, in which you can add things like different filters and adjust angles, which is pretty cool if you enjoy the visual style of the game. Another highlight is the soundtrack of the game as well, which is honestly absolutely fantastic. So the game looks pretty good, the game sounds good, and the game controls very well. So you would think that this would be a no-brainer purchase for Nintendo Switch owners, right? Well, maybe. I can be honest with you guys and say that I am a Panzer Dragoon fan, so this game was fantastic for me, but there are some things I want to talk about before you necessarily rush out and purchase the game. First off, let's talk about the length of the game. I have already beaten the game several times through because, well, it's not a very long game. Your playthrough of the game could last you around 2-3 to three hours, but seasoned players can get through it in an hour or even less. Now of course, some of that is contingent on which difficulty mode you select, as there are three to choose from. The game doesn't offer unlimited continues either, as they are given to you after completing a stage, and if you die in a stage, you actually start from the beginning of the stage. Now the more enemies you kill, the higher ranking you get, and the game rewards you with more continues after completing a level. But still, the game offers six episodes, each with a boss battle at the end, and then a final boss battle, so it doesn't take very long to get through the game if you're good at it. Another thing I want to bring up is the control scheme. Now like I said, you have two different control schemes to choose from, classic and modern, but the problem is you can only access the menu to adjust the control screen from the startup screen, meaning you can't change anything when you're in game or in the action. This honestly was one of my biggest issues with the game, as I wanted to adjust things like the sensitivity, but I couldn't do that without exiting the game, going into the main menu, selecting the control scheme, and then going back into the game, which really just makes absolutely no sense. The final thing to keep in mind with Panzer Dragoon Remake has to be the price of the game, which is $25. Now personally, I had zero issues paying that price because I'm a fan of the game, but like I said, it is a pretty short adventure. What's more is that the remake doesn't do anything additional like add in some new levels or an achievement system to make you want to replay the game again, and I wasn't able to figure out any sort of codes or anything like that that the Sega Saturn version of the game had. The Sega Saturn version of the game had some codes where you could change things up and even add in a different episode that was hidden in behind a code, which you would battle through infinite enemy waves while trying to keep your health up, and I couldn't find it in this version of the game. At its core though, Panzer Dragoon is still an amazing game. It was one of the best Sega Saturn games of all time, and has really shot up in price over the years. So things like Panzer Dragoon Remake make it a hell of a lot more accessible for those people who have never played the game but maybe were always interested in it. The new coat of paint looks great, and the new control schemes make it easier for gamers of all generations to enjoy. And honestly, it kind of reminds me of a classic music album that you can just listen to over and over again. It's definitely not a very long game, and I think a lot of people might not understand the appeal of the series, but if you like what you see in the video, you'll probably really like the game. Hell, I enjoyed the game so much that not only did I buy a digital copy of it, but yes, I am getting that damn limited run collector's edition of it as well too. Alright, so those are my thoughts on the Panzer Dragoon remake. I think it's going to be a very sort of love it or hate it game. If you kind of don't understand the appeal to it, you might not understand why people are excited for this game. And I think reviews are going to be all over the place in terms of how they are scored. But for me personally, this was a game I really enjoyed. I'm going to continue to keep playing through it because it's a lot easier to play my Nintendo Switch than it is my Sega Saturn. But I do wish they would have done some quality of life improvements like adding in the controls where you could 
change it on the fly, and of course maybe some additional content as well. Now Forever Entertainment, who is the publisher of the game, did say that they are doing some patches on things, so who knows what that will really change, maybe they could add in some additional content into that as well, and of course they are working on Panzer Dragoon 2 Remake as well, so I'm really looking forward to that game, as that game sort of changed things up from the original game in the series. Now speaking of Forever Entertainment, they were kind enough to give me a code to give away for Panzer Dragoon Remake for the Nintendo Switch, and it is very easy to enter it. I just didn't allude to it because I wanted to make sure you guys watched the full video before getting that information. Now in the pinned comment in the comment section down below, the very last link will be a link to a contest giveaway entry. And basically you just have to be subscribed to the channel and like the video. There will be some additional ways to enter the contest as well, such as liking the Facebook page, checking out my Instagram page or following me on Twitter but the main thing is that you enter via that contest link and it's pretty easy in about six or seven days I will announce a winner and I will send you a US code for Panzer Dragoon remake so those are my thoughts on the game and I hope you guys are excited for this little giveaway that I am doing as well be sure to let me know in the comment section down below if you have played this game if you plan on picking up this game or if maybe you don't understand the appeal which I could totally understand and as always guys thank you for checking out this video Video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Be sure to check out other videos on the channel as well. And like I said, make sure you look at that link in the pinned comment in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.